Republican presidential candidates on Thursday held their last debates before Monday's Iowa caucuses the first event in which voters actually make their choices for their party's next presidential nominees. Most of the candidates quickly addressed Fox News moderator Megyn Kelly's request to address the elephant not in the room Thursday night, that frontrunner Donald Trump was not participating in the debate. I'm a maniac and everyone on this stage is stupid, fat, and ugly, and Ben, you're a terrible surgeon, Texas Senator Ted Cruz said to rival Ben Carson, a retired neurosurgeon, saying that he had now gotten the Donald Trump portion of the program out of the way. Florida Senator Marco Rubio said while the billionaire candidate is entertaining, Trump is not what the campaign is about. And former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, who has often been the target of Trump's barbs, joked that he missed having the real estate mogul on the stage. But the rest of the candidates avoided mentioning Trump and quickly moved on to establish their credentials as president. Because of the large number of candidates 11 host Fox News split the debates in Des Moines, Iowa between the seven candidates leading polls and the four bringing up the rear. Immigration Issue In the most heated exchanges of the night, moderator Kelly, using video clips of candidates' previous statements, questioned several candidates regarding their seeming flip-flops on the immigration issue. Rubio campaigned for the Senate in 2010 on a tough immigration stance, saying he would never support blanket amnesty. He later became part of a bipartisan group of senators called the Gang of Eight, who crafted a comprehensive immigration bill in 2013 that contained a pathway to citizenship. The bill passed in the Senate but failed in the House of Representatives. In a testy exchange with Kelly, Rubio denied he had changed his position on immigration, easily one of the most contentious issues for the Republicans. What I've always said is this issue needs to be solved, he said. He said while he's not for deporting the millions of undocumented immigrants in the U.S. As Trump has suggested he would do we're not for handing out citizenship either. Bush attacked Rubio, saying the senator had sought his support as governor on legislation that would allow a pathway to citizenship. But then he cut and run because it wasn't popular with conservatives, he chided. Rubio fired back, saying Bush used to support a path to citizenship. The former governor responded, so did you, Marco. But Thursday's spotlight was stolen by the Republicans' leading contender, billionaire real estate mogul Trump. He refused to take part in the debate because of what he alleged was poor treatment by Fox News. Fox said the flamboyant Trump, a political novice who has surged to the top of political surveys of Republican voters, was welcome at the debate and would be treated fairly. But the network refused to replace moderator Kelly, who angered Trump at an August debate by asking him about slurs he has made over the years about women. On Thursday, he held firm in his refusal to debate, tweeting, The debate tonight will be a total disaster low ratings with advertisers and advertising rates dropping like a rock. I hate to see this. However, a Fox News spokesperson rejected Trump's statement Thursday, saying, The debate is completely sold out. No rates have changed and there are no advertisers who have backed out. Still, Trump was by far the most searched for candidate on Google during the first half of the main debate, according to Google Trends data. At one point, searches on his name outpaced by nearly 4 to 1 the second most searched for candidate, Rubio. Trump Rally Trump held a separate event at Drake University for U.S. veterans that coincided with the GOP debate. He said he decided not to appear out of respect for myself. I wanted to be at the debate tonight, but you have to stick up for what's right. He told the crowd gathered at his rally, when you're treated badly, you have to stick up for your rights, adding that we have to stick up for our country if we're being mistreated. Trump said his foundation already has raised $5 million for America's vets. He said he's putting up $1 million of his own money and that many of his wealthy friends are giving large contributions as well. Huckabee and Santorum showed up at the Trump event. Each was invited by Trump to speak briefly.